And clean twilight. No nope. Fledgeshine and Twilight aren't wrestling in this mud. Twilight's a dick to animals. Twilight's kind of being a jerk. Not just because she won't leave, but she's covered in mud and dragging it through Fluttershy's house. But maybe I'd better see if Twilight has been derpified to compensate for the lack of derpy in this episode. So we just went with every berry, any chip surprise. The surprise is I lost a measuring spoon in the batter. If someone can't tell there's a measuring spoon in their pancakes, they deserve to choke on it. Now that you mention it, she was lending a hoof at Sweet Apple Lakers the other day and stuck around till near midnight. Dug up 50 tree plants. Twilight was actually an extra in Silo LaBeouf's movie Hose. She spent an entire afternoon rearranging a single gem drawer at the boutique. An you spend an entire afternoon fixing one bird's nest. So who's worse here? Some pony who's avoiding something, that's who. Soon as she wakes up, we're gonna find out what. Monster kill. I mean awake. Uh, Twilight, is there something you wanna tell us? You know how much we appreciate all you do for us. Pinky was an extra in the movie Jaws. I'm saying this with love, but have you looked in the mirror lately? Presumably, this was in Rarity's hair. Somehow. Better than you. We'll make this place feel cozier than hot cider on a rainy day. There's gonna be cider. I think the real problem here is Rainbow Dash's alcoholism. Okay, Spike not only just takes the pancakes without seeing if they're anyone else's, but there's one stack in the view and then the next there's three with frosting on top in the middle. And then the next, there's no frosting. Yeah, no, when I think of homie, I think of literally spreading dirt across the floor. Yeah, I I'd come inside. I'm talking about the house, of course. Aw, that's adorable. A pout to end all pouts. Minus one sin. You do don't let her come home! Like, forever? But we live here. Uh, yes. Well, uh, maybe you could manage until sunset-ish? Anything for you, Rarity. The power of vaginas is strong even with horses. Okay, we all agree the castle is too Great! And more importantly, how does the castle look? The sin here is the fact they don't keep this new main style longer. Wait to go home and see you. Go for it. Did some pony order massages? Yeah! Let's do this, little dragon! I'm assuming the reason why there's no other customers is because the prices have to be so high to keep replacing the walls. Either that, or no one ever gets massages. This? No, not that! Anything but that! How about these? Oh, but those brighten up the whole room! They're my favorite accent! Then let's lose the curtains! The room wouldn't need brightening if they weren't making it so dark! Not them! They're my favorite too! They're ripped! Even Rarity wouldn't be this dumb. Favorite? Okay. <sighs> the room still looks a little bit cluttered, doesn't it? What are these posters even attached to? It looks like they're just floating in the foreground. Then again, they were hanging in a home made of clouds. Fluttershy, tell your birds to stop pecking at my balloons! I guess they must not like being scared out of their wits by exploding- Pinky Shy's little feud seems to grow every episode. I kind of need a... a bed. I thought you said you sleep like a baby in the castle. Every pony knows babies are terrible sleepers. This is actually true. Ask any couple with a new child. If we can't do it, then Twilight will be stuck living in a castle that just makes her feel sad. Sad, sad, sad. Well, Fluttershy, I didn't know you could be loud enough to echo. 
Damn it, Pinky, that's my job. Come on, y'all. We just need to think about Twilight. What was it she loved about living in the Golden Oak Library? Oh, everything. The books, the smell of books, the joy she felt from organizing books. Remember that time I crashed into all those books attempting my sonic rainbow map that you guys just cleaned up? <laughs> so, you're going to add books, right? No? Okay. Wow, that's actually really morbid. You uprooted the tree, chopped it up to make it flat, and then hung it from the ceiling. I really hate to see what you would do if a pet dies. The time we shared donuts after the Grand Galloping Gala. There's magic memory gems that are never explained, mentioned, or even hinted at as being possible. And the best part of it is, it's made from the roots of the Golden Oak Library, so you'll never forget where you came from. It's exactly what the castle needed. You know, I've been making fun of this episode this whole time, but this scene, this scene really would dissolve it of all sins. <laughs> Let's do this, little dragon! Hey there, Pony Nation. You just watched another great video from Mo Lemonis. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And stay sexy, my little ponies. <laughs>